is like the cutest thing ever. That's why you need a helmet. Oh my God, I forgot to take off my makeup. Right now we are headed to Liam's doctor for his checkup and my battery's about to die. Oh my Lord, oh my Lord. Be right back. So my camera's gonna charge while we go. But after the appointment, I have to hurry home because Lex has a developmental therapy appointment at the house. Let's start this crazy day of a busy mama five. Mm. Mm. You want me to help you? Alrighty, so this is how you open it up, like an orange. Here. Like <gasps> Another <laughs> highlighter. <gasps> it's pink. Oh wow, so this is a highlighter. You actually open it here. Look at that. Look at that. that is super cool. Look at that. I know, mommy might steal it from her. What'd you get? <gasps> Another ice cream. How cool is that? And it says on here, sweetly. Oh, she got another one. This one can be for mommy. Oh, wow. Am I pretty, Sophie? You match like me. Is it a kitty kitty? And that shows you all the prizes you can get. You just buy more. More stickers. Yay! What? How many stickers? One, two, three. As always, we were thank you so much for sending us that stuff. You guys are awesome. He went, he, baby, he needs his The blossoms are buying you for one night. Are you being nice to your brother? Lex, what are you doing? He's missing something. Sophie is going to make a great mommy and a great boss someday. She saved me from a really bad poopy incident, didn't she, Lex? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So today Lex made like three messes. He has probably made Sophie like half bald from pulling out her hair. The night that Ashley showed up, he bumped her with a freaking flashlight on her head. He hasn't even been that nice to Liam and usually he's really nice to Liam. I'm not including the poopy mess he made. Thankfully, Sophie told me all about it. She said that he took off his diaper and pooped. I'm kind of done with Lex for the day. You are her fee and a monster today. <laughs> he's like, I know. Four messes because he took the highlighter and colored my cushion so I had to clean it. But guys, I need to clean my whole couch. I don't think you can tell, but this one like I cleaned is so much wider than this one. So I might do a video and show you guys the process of it. I'm not sure. This is going to be pretty much a mixture of all kinds of videos, like starting from when I took Liam to the doctor's appointment. I will talk to you guys about that. I also want to open some fan mail that we got for the month of May. And then I'm just going to rest because I don't feel good. I don't feel good at all. All. This is from West Virginia. It says smile. Look at that. This kind of depicts our life, guys. I wanted the blue cup. Stephanie, you're such an inspirational mom, and I'm so happy to have found you on YouTube. Keep being awesome. We hope you have a wonderful Mother's Day. Thank you so much, Becky. Oh, I know who this is. It's Becky and Rosalie. Thank you so much, Becky. Okay, next we have something from Abby. And look at this cute, like, little polka dotted thing. And guys, remember that I will be keeping everyone's addresses. I will be sending you guys some Christmas love this year. This is so cute. Look at that. And then look at this rainbow. I just absolutely love it. Like that is so freaking cute. Oh, Abby, thank you so much. Your letter was so, so, so sweet. Thank you. You guys are just awesome. Okay, this one is from Katie. I know who Katie is. She comments all the time. She's always in my live streams on you now. Guys, this is so cute. Like, look at that. Oh my goodness. That is like the cutest thing ever. 
And then she gave me a letter. I will read this later, Katie, and I will message you about it. Thank you so, so much. Someone was also nice enough to invite me to their baby shower. Unfortunately, the baby shower is uh, in Minnesota. I'm not gonna be able to make it, obviously, but congratulations, Amanda, on your new baby. This is from Manessa Bowman. Thank you, Manessa. I also know you from comments and live stream. Aw, and they included a little picture. Look at that, that is so cute. Aw, this is such a sweet poem. Thank you so much, Ruth. You are so awesome. I think that is it, right? Yeah. As always, at the end of the month, I go check our P.O. box and then I open it at the beginning of the month. This month, I wanted to open it up on a vlog, so thank you guys so much. I'll kind of finish up the vlog as I'm going because I want to kind of talk to you guys about what's going on with Liam and Lex. But for right now, I am tired, I am hungry, and I don't feel good. So we're gonna figure something out there. What did you do, Lex? I left you for seven minutes. I know it was seven minutes because I was filming. And I'm about to talk to you guys about it, but his head right there is so flat. That's why you need a helmet. You need a helmet. I know this vlog is probably like the most chopped up vlog ever and I'm so sorry, things have been crazy. I have taken a huge break from social media. I kind of took about a week break from posting on YouTube. So by the time you guys see this, I will be uploading regularly again. Things have just been absolutely 100% insane, which you also know if you watch the end of Friday's video. But at Liam's appointment, evidently he has a really flat head because she said at almost five months old, usually at five months old, they can roll over his pediatrician doesn't feel like it's a huge muscle tone issue, but he already needs to have his head assessed for a helmet anyway to see if he qualifies for it. So she said while they're there, they're also the ones that would handle muscle tone and she would be able to see if there's any hypotonia issues. But she said she feels like he is strong enough to like roll over and things like that. He's just not doing it. So that's kind of what we're hoping is that he's just being a lazy baby. But I will tell you over the weekend when Ashley was here, he did roll over um, from his back to his stomach. It it took him a really long time. He was so determined, but we were so proud of him. And I'm telling you, if he was older, I would have given him an ice cream cone. That's how hard he worked for it. I was able to actually get Lex's actual genetic test results. If you don't know, Lex is my two, two and a half year old son. We had a genetic test done on him because his older brother, Noah, who's 10, has autism and intellectual disability, which is linked to a chromosomal abnormality. So we already knew Lex had a genetic abnormality, but what we did know was which one. One. So what kind of surprised me is that Lex has two abnormalities. Liam only has one. Noah has three. And it's going to get kind of confusing, so I'm sorry. The micro deletion that Lex is missing on chromosome 15 is the exact same one that Noah and Liam is missing. It's kind of rare, unless it's genetic, for one child to have the exact same as another. Obviously, since they're all brothers, it kind of makes sense. And it's not too surprising that they all have the same one. Also in the report, it explained chromosome 15 that they're missing is usually inherited from the mother, which I kind of suspected all along. If you hang out with us on live streams on you now, I've talked about this, but I definitely think that I'm the one that passed down the autism gene to the younger boys. On the report, it states that Lex and Liam's chance of having autism like 80% so that was kind of sucky to find out, but it's also good to be realistic at the same time. Then Lex is also missing a part on chromosome 16. It can be linked to autism as well, but it's also linked to ADHD and things like that. It didn't seem like it was very significant, but the chromosome 15 definitely was. I felt like I got more information from reading the report than I actually did from talking to the geneticist. What it means is it's highly likely when you have this specific micro deletion, every micro deletion can be changed in size, if that makes sense. It doesn't mean anything besides that they're high risk for autism and intellectual disability. I don't think that Lex has intellectual disability. I'm not saying Noah's not smart. I feel like when you test autistic kids, um, they have like a different level and they show it differently. But Lex is a freaking genius. <laughs> like he is way smarter than any two year old I've ever met in my life. I'm sorry guys, my battery died. But what we do know is that Lex right now has a significant speech issue. He is 30 months old. He only has, I think, 
four functional words. Altogether, the words he does use, he has the same amount of words that he did a year ago. It also seems like he's having some um, obvious sensory issues, and there are some other things that are coming out as far as autism red flags and things like that. So we are going through the process, and you probably already know this because I gave an update on Friday's video. We are still going through an autism evaluation for Lex because it seems everyone that, like professionals, doctors, everyone that really has dealt with Lex one-on-one -on -one for a longer period of time, they all agree that some days it seems like Lex has clear signs of autism, and then other days it seems like he may not. So he would definitely benefit from just doing an autism evaluation. Guys, today is the craziest vlogging day ever. Hang on, it's my mom. Hang on, mama, right quick, okay? I'm finishing up a vlog. But, so we aren't sure, so it would be better just to do the autism evaluation and it, them say, no, he doesn't have autism, and then we can get all the services that he may need then to not do anything, and then he misses early intervention kind of thing. So that is our plan. Um, I'm so sorry this video is so, so crazy, but I love you guys so, so much. It feels so good to be back, and we will see you tomorrow. Where you move make me blind You will always be the There's no doubt in my mind You will always be the Heading out to see ya And leave